Hello and welcome to another episode uh, of, uh, you know, basically me talking about what functional medicine practices and, and medical clinics uh, can and, and do need to uh, to boost their business. Um, this one's going to be focused on e-commerce. You know, with medical practitioners, some of them have their own um already have their own in practice stores where they, they they stock all their supplements for their for their customers so they already have all of this all of this product in the store some of some of the smaller practitioners do not have that uh, they um, basically give a you know give a suggestion or they have what's called a uh, like a a um, a branded shop through one of these places like gethealthy.store or fullscript um, and there's quite a few iterations of that. Um, those things are good for, uh, for, um, and, and they're, they're a good cheap solution. Okay. The problem is, is that with these is the, the revenues for this, a lot of those revenues go to the, 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 like whether it's full script or that, because they're handling shipping, transaction fees, all that. And then they make a margin on all the products as well. So you lose that margin on the products, you know. Um, but for a lot of practitioners starting out, this would be the solution uh, for you. You're very limited to, on branding. Um, you'll also have obviously have your own website, which means you can't integrate the products into your own website. So when you do a blog post and you talk about vitamin C or anything like that and supplements that people might need, you've basically got a link to those products on an external website. So basically all the benefits of you building that brand go to that website. Okay. And the branding is very, very, very limited. So there are some drawbacks to that, but you know, for the most part, starting out, it's probably a bit the best solution for you. It's 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 fairly cheap. Like I think uh, Get Healthy started at about four or five hundred dollars just to get your site set up, and you get like a logo, and they, they make the colours all look the same. Get Healthy has a benefit over Full Script is where uh, you can actually also have your own products in in their system. So basically, you ship their, your products to them, and they'll ship them out. So it has some benefits. Um, and so I don't want to downplay the role that they play because they do play an important role in medical practice, in practices around the world. Um, the, the next solution from that is having your own solution and, and that can probably come in two iterations. There's, uh, there's businesses like um, Shopify where you can build your own website very quickly um, and have, manage your own website uh, fairly quickly using a Shopify solution. Um, now, Shopify has some great things about it, and it all has has also has some major drawbacks. So, as an example, if you have a, a online store and um, with Shopify, uh, what you'll find is if you go to their pricing, you'll see the the basic pricing. The basic pricing is only twenty nine dollars a month. However, you're going to find that that is just not going to be enough for you. Okay, so really, this is probably the only solution that you that you will actually be be looking for. So they handle all the payment gateways. You can also have uh, shipping handle. Uh, you can get like drop shipping companies or fulfillment centers to fulfill your orders where you ship your products. Uh, drop shipping is not probably an option, but um, you can actually have fulfillment uh, centers that actually fulfill the, all the products. And they have their own POS system for in-store. And if you're already using that, that may be, well be the solution. But the limitations to a Shopify store is these fees increase significantly once you want to do the things that most people want to do. Okay. Um, so for instance, you want to do taxes, you want to do um, you want to have like a marketing campaigns with newsletters and things like that. All of those are additional fees by third parties that cost extra money, okay, per month. All right. And, you know, I, I would estimate that, you know, most of my clients that are doing a reasonable amount of business on here are probably paying double or triple uh, what this figure is. So it does increase quite significantly. Um, it also has some severe limitations. No matter what they want to tell you, you know, the SEO part of it and the control from, uh, from an owner's perspective 
is very limited. So as an example, you would set up this, uh, you would get a, an account with this site, you would then set up a uh, set up a theme, which is how your website will look. And then basically, if you stick with everything that theme does, obviously the themes look really pretty when you look at them, but as soon as you start putting your data in them, they start falling apart and looking pretty ugly fairly quickly. Um, however, um, as soon as you start going outside of it, like wanting to customize things, it is very difficult. So as an example, you know, I've only got a handful of clients on Shopify, but if they want to do anything, if they want to add a new tab or anything like that, you need a developer or you need someone who knows code. Okay. So this system was built many years ago and it's sort of grown from that basically structure um, where it, it, it doesn't really lend itself well to, uh, to growth. Uh, if you want to customize anything, as soon as you want to customize things or you want to add things like um, drop, uh, like fulfillment centers, uh, like marketing campaigns, all these sort of things, you're paying extra money. You know, if you want to have like an integrated uh, review system, extra money per month. Everything's extra money per month. So um, just be prepared that you're going to you're going to have to pay a lot more, and you're also going to have to hire a developer to do a lot of the things that you would think you should be able to do yourself. Um, it's very easy to break pages um, because there's codes you have to be able to put in for tabs and things like that. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> for me, this this is not a solution for medical practices. Um, the other thing, too, is the blogging component of it is very basic and and uh, and you'll soon get pretty frustrated with the systems that, uh, with that. And the SEO for it is is. Uh, is a little bit more difficult as well. It can be okay, but it's it's a little bit more difficult to get that right as well. And again, there'll be an add-on that you have to pay money per month to use for that. So, you know, um, if you're just going to have a store and you're going to stick to the rules and uh, of the theme that you choose, the other part about the theme is customizing the theme. It's one of the biggest shortfalls from a developer point of view because, like with WordPress, you can create a child theme and make all your customizations in that. And so, when the parent theme gets updated, you can just click. Uh, where you can just update the parent theme. That's not the case with Shopify. Everything's done in the one thing. There's no child, so you can't you can't modify the code of a theme uh, and then upgrade the theme without doing a hiring a developer to do a backup and make sure and most themes get updated once a month or once every every couple of months so it's it, it doesn't take long for your theme to become completely out of date uh, and then you have to spend quite a lot um, so the code base for this for develop from a developer's point of view and trying to explain it to clients why it's costing them more money every time is it can be a little bit uh I don't know, it, it can be a bit frustrating because you shouldn't be spending that sort of money um, to do things like that so the other solution, which is the WordPress solution, is, is WooCommerce. Now, WooCommerce also has its shortfalls. However, it's got you know, millions and millions of people using the software, which means you've got a really large development community, which means that there's a lot of free, free plugins and add-ons. So as an example, um, automated taxes, uh, shipping integration, all of those things don't really cost extra money per month. Okay, um, it, it, do, blogging and, and and like on your current, if you've already got a current WordPress website, integrating within that is not such a difficult job. And then, for instance, when you write a blog post and you want to uh, promote vitamin C, you can just put a short code in there and all your vitamin C products will appear within that blog post or at the bottom of the blog post or even inside the blog post. So you can do a lot more things with WooCommerce than you, that you can't do with Shopify. Okay, and it's not saying it's going to be much, much uh, a much cheaper solution, but a lot more customizable. Um, so how WooCommerce works is the software is free, but all the add-ons you pay for, and uh, nearly all of them on an annual basis. However, there are tens of thousands of plugins, thousands of plugins, I would say, maybe only hundreds that I would use, um, maybe even less than that that I would use. But the, you uh, you can customize it. Um, quite significantly without the added cost. Okay, obviously you're paying your, your developer or whatever, which in, in this case would be me, but you can do a lot more with WooCommerce. Uh, and if you already have a WordPress website and you already have an in-practice um, uh, shop, well then it's, it's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. Um, so 
once we get to that, you, you know, you have your own store and people, this is one of the stores we, we developed. Um, people can order from your store. Um, the people can, people can, um, uh, all the, all, everything's pretty much automated. So from the, from the ordering, uh, your clinic would get a, an order, an order number with a packing list. Uh, thing to print out and you just pop, pop that in the box and then ship it off all the all the uh, all the shipping is calculated you can ship to to the US to internationally and that will be automatically calculated gets pretty expensive when you're shipping packages overseas um, and then you've got to think of the customers overseas with with uh, custom duties and things like that so but everything can be automated so you this this side here is selling hundreds and hundreds of products to a site like this, which is which basically has one product. So there are di different sites for different things. Um, however, everything can be integrated beautifully into a WordPress website. Um, yeah, so so moving on from that, we would, would start to talk about um, payment processing. So there's some important things to consider when you choose a payment processor. So I have a lot of clients that say to me, oh, I got a good rate at, at, with this processor called such and such pay, where pay, people make payments on your website and the credit card fees that you get charged. That's the last thing you should be thinking of. Most of them are around between two and three percent transaction fees. Um, but what you want to have is a, a well-established system, one that's for a trusted supplier. And number two, because uh, if, it, if it's a well-established system like PayPal, Stripe, um, uh, Amazon Pay, well, it's well supported by the developer community. So there's a lot of integrations you can you can have with it. Um, so I would always stick with one of the major ones. The second thing to consider with payment gateways is tokenization for recurring payments. So if you wanted to, for instance, have a, a vitamin, again, a vitamin C supplement, and then people can order it every 30 days and have it on uh, recurring payments, well, then you want to have a system that supports that. And there's only a handful that do that. There's like a lot of the more obscure ones don't have those sort of systems. And what that means, instead of that your credit card's not uh, stored with you, it's stored on a system like Stripe and you get a token to say, yes, you can charge that card this amount of money each month. Okay. So that's another important thing with payment gateways. So now let's look at, talk about shipping. So if you're going to have your own in-house clinic, uh, you, if you've got your own in-house store uh, clinic, you might want to use like a service like, um, ship station which basically um handles you can see woocommerce shopify all of those it handles your um your uh for instance if someone creates an order you it, this system creates all the packing lists all that sort of stuff and also the tracking codes all that sort of stuff for you it's all done for you it's very popular um you know m m m uh, with with a lot of my clients it makes it easy to use and it works seamlessly with the software. So an order comes through your website, it goes into the ship station system, the ship station, you click a button and it prints out the, the packing list. Um, and then once you ship it, you click a button and then it automatically creates the tracking code for you. And then it automatically communicates that back to your system. If your system set up like that uh, correctly, um, it automatically, um, there's an add on for that for tracking for both of them. It'll automatically add the tracking code, and then the customer will get notified from your website to say it's been it's been shipped. Here's your tracking code, and all the information with that. So this is a really good system if you've got an in in house um, uh, already an in house shop where you can you know work with it. The other thing is uh, if you want to have a fulfillment center, and that means that all of your products are are stored at a um, at a, a fulfillment center. So the same thing occurs. Someone creates an order, an order on your website. The order goes through to the fulfillment center. Uh, the fulfillment center fulfills the order, sends it off, et cetera, et cetera, tracking codes, all that. Now, the important thing, again, with fulfillment centers is you make sure that they work with WooCommerce seamlessly. That means the order goes through to them automatically. Once they ship it, the, the tracking code comes back into the system and the, and the customer gets notified automatically that the product's been shipped. So again, there's a there this in the in my article. If you click on the link below, you'll see uh, the um, the uh, the full article, which gives you a, a little bit of a range of, uh, of fulfillment centers that do this sort of thing. Um, so the the final thing uh, is uh, 
is inventory management. So uh, let's just say an example: you've got a you've got a a, a a medical practice with a with a supplement store inside your medical practice, and you've also got a website. So if you've got you know again going to this uh, vitamin C supplement, if you've got a vitamin C supplement, you've got twelve stock in your shop um, and in your uh, physical shop, and you've got twelve supplements showing on your e-commerce store you can you can get these applications that talk between each other okay uh, like SKUIQ uh, and what that does is if somebody buys it from your physical store it picks one off the list and then it communicates with your online store to say there's only 11 left 10 left 9 left and the same thing if someone purchases from your online store it picks it off the list and goes and communicates with your physical store software to say there's only 10 9 8 7 of that product in stock that's if you want to do the uh, the um, if you want to have inventory management. So as you can see, summing up, uh, there are a variety of options. If you're just starting out and you, you just want to get a feel and see if you can get some some sales out the door, I would suggest like a uh, a full script or a, a get healthy store. Um, probably better get healthy store a little bit above full script, um, just because of the range of products and you could own, add your own product. Um, the the shipping service uh, the um, the the second so side of, second part of that sorry not shipping service the second thing is to get your own website store if you already have a website it's already WooCommerce then uh, e uh, WordPress well then I'll get WooCommerce if it's not then you've got a decision to make Shopify or Big Commerce or one of those or 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 WooCommerce okay um, I would choose WooCommerce I'm a little bit biased I suppose but I work with I work with both and I know which one is better for my client as far as uh, ease of use and um, and SEO and all that sort of stuff. So um, the other thing, the, the final thing I wanted to say, take note is, is when you create your product, if you're going to have your own product line, then get your own store. Okay. It, and if you're going to have a white label product with your own labels, and you'll see in my article, I talk about... Um, I talk about instead of getting product photography done, which all of your products should have exactly the same image dimensions if you want your store to look professional. Um, however, if you want to get product photography done, I would skip that and I would get 3D models done. You can, you know, I mean, we've got connections uh, with 3D modelers and from, you know, from countries where it's fairly uh, budget friendly, but that you can do a lot more with a 3D model. As an example, if you've got five 3D, 3D models, they just look like a really perfect photograph. If if you've got that, um, these 3D models, what you can do is you can um, automatically, uh, um, you can put like, you can group these products together. So if you've got five photographs and you want to put all the products together, you, you can't because all the background images and all that, you'd have to cut all that out, the time and cost involved in doing that. You'd have to cut out all the backgrounds and put them next to each other and it'll probably look pretty tacky. But with getting a 3D model done, you can put them all together, resize them all, and it just looks like they're all sitting together on a table, all these three perfect photos into one group. So you can do a lot more with it. You can add that image to a to a scene. Like, for instance, this table, you could add a, a product on top of the table, all that sort of stuff. So getting 3D models done of your own products, a good idea. So I hope that helps. I know this is a lot longer video than I normally do, but I thought I wanted to cover all the things that I think were, uh, are needed to be covered. So thanks for listening. And uh, yeah, if, you, if you'd like to know anything, contact Yakadanda at uh, yakadanda.com forward slash contact uh, or uh, via the comments section. Um, and I'll be happy to, to have a chat with you. All right. Thank you.